Hey guys, Gaijin Hunter here. Today I'm really excited because we have both the Lance and the Gun Lance. And this is going to be our first look at what the perfect guard is for the Bushido style. So without any blabbing or talking on, let's just jump right in. Again, it's going to be the video with my personal translations overlaid on top of it. And then we're going to watch it again with my commentary and then some final thoughts. Let's jump in. Okay, first up is the Lance. This is actually my first main weapon in Monster Hunter. I played this thing exclusively for about 700 hours. Now, if you notice here, they've actually improved it. Um, they've changed it so that the third strike in your three hit combo is a strong strike. And what it is is you have a small pause and then he thrusts upward and does a series of three hits. It's gonna change the feel of the weapon a little bit, um, but I think it's for the best and it's gonna be really great with elemental properties and status because you're hitting the monster a lot so i think this is going to be a wonderful change for the lance um, and i can't wait to do it okay now the aerial style for the lance i got to try out of the demo and it's really good because the hop that you do forward is not a huge insanely high hop so it's very easy to aim where you're going and it still keeps you close to the monster so i think this is going to be an incredibly viable style Okay, and on to Bushido style. Now, if you hit R to guard at exactly the right moment, you'll do this new two-hit combo. Um, and then you can go right into your thrust combo from there. So this is going to allow you to remain really aggressive. 
Now the striker style is really fun because you charge up these things like the shield assault. You charge this thing up so fast. You can use it like five, six times a one hunt. Um, if not more. I mean, it's just insane. It's a lot of fun. You're invincible the entire time you're running forward. You hit him with the shield and you can follow it up with a thrust. This next one, this guard rage, is interesting. Watch the color of the lance. He gets a small attack and he charges it and it's got this little red aura. Now he gets hit with a big attack and you notice it's yellow. It's growing even higher. So I think the idea is that you charge it up with the energy of the attack you get. So the bigger the attack, the more damage. Okay, next up is the gun lance. And I'm really, really happy with the revisions that they're doing for this weapon. They're really making it different from the regular lance. And they're making it so that it's more of a technical weapon. And both shelling and thrusting together really work to make this really wonderful, almost hybrid weapon. So if you notice, there's a heat gauge on the upper left. Every time you shell, that thing moves to the right. As it moves up through the colors, your thrust attacks for your lance, because it's getting hotter, become more powerful. If you go all the way over, though, it does overheat, so you got to be careful. But when you, every time you thrust with your lance, it goes a little bit to the left. So you got to balance it, uh, but it's a lot of fun. I can't wait to find out how much more powerful the red is. The aerial style, I'm happy to report that when I tried in the demo, it was an absolute blast. Not only like the lance do you not jump way too far, but you can do full burst really easily. So I see this really popular with normal type gun lances. Now the Bushido style is so subtle, I love it. It's just a nice upward hit and it automatically goes into a recharge of your shells. This is going to allow you to stick really close to the monster and just strike and shell the crap out of it. Now striker skills are always fun. This first one is almost like a napalm explosion. Um, I'm happy to admit that it has a wide range of hits, so I mean I did it in the demo against Hororo Hororu, and even though you're not like right next to it, it still managed to burn the daylights out of it, so, and it doesn't affect your heat gauge, so you can use this whenever you want. This next one is really cool, so what it does is it charges heat into your gun lance, and then it maxes out your gauge for a limited period of time. And it looks like it goes a little bit above max, because if you watch the effects on the thrusting, it's got this like massive heat effect, so that's really cool. As a Lancer who never really picked up gun lands, I'm quite excited. So there you guys go. I actually think that the guards are wonderful. I mean, a lot of people who don't do Lancer gun lands may say, wow, they're not that flashy, they're not that extravagant, and that's not the point though. With these weapons, you really want to stick close to the monster, so I'm so happy that it's not some like weird hop or something that pulls you away from the monster. It keeps you right on them aggressive all the way so i think the bushido style for both of these are going to be insane lance more than almost any of the other weapons i got to try them out and i really think that all four styles are incredibly powerful the guild styles got it all obviously it's got the new triple hit which is really great and just a note guys the triple hit works for both forward and upward so if you hit xxx um, or xxa it doesn't matter you're going to do that triple hit um, whatever direction you wish um, the striker style is great because it charges up really fast and you don't lose a whole lot of abilities. The aerial style is great because it keeps you close to the monster and it's easy to aim. And the Bushido style is going to be the ultimate in aggressive guard lancing. I do think that evade lancing um, is only really going to work out well for the guild style. Um, so it'll be interesting to see an increase of guard lancers. But of course that also means that it's really good for solo play, but online it could be a little tough because the monster isn't always going at you. Now the gun lance, I really love the revision. I think it's the biggest change they've ever had to the weapon. I think it's going to change the dynamic greatly, and I think this will probably get lancers interested in gun lance as well. Um, they did revise it so you can do three forward strikes just like a lance does. Um, so that's going to allow you to utilize the thrust attacks a lot more than you've ever been able to. Um, the aerial style is great. The forward plus X ends up being like a hop. Um, and I could just go on and on. These things are wonderful, and I hope you're as excited about them as I am. Tomorrow's going to be an exciting day. We've got Switch Axe and we've got Charge Blade coming up. So I hope you guys look forward to that. And I apologize for the raspy voice. I actually caught a cold, so my throat's a little messed up. But hey, that doesn't stop me from enjoying Monster Hunter. Until next time, happy hunting.